First down. Fakes the throw. Gets rid of it. He finds his man. Touchdown, Claymore. Touchdown. The receiver ran a perfect route. He turned around just in time to see the ball. Dropping back. With the throw. Complete to the wide receiver. The 40. And he's pushed out of bounds. At the 45. Old day to throw. Throws it. He finds his man. Jensen is there for the tackle. Got a touchdown out of it. Gets the pass off. He hits his receiver. The receiver breaks free. Touchdown. This is an option route. The receiver's route depends on the defense he sees. But the quarterback has to see the same thing to make it work. Here, they're both on the... Okay, the counter play. Now that's a stiff arm. Warren is there for the tackle at the 46-yard line. Get it up! He has time. Rolling left. It's the pass off. It's going the other way. Number 43 comes up with a big play for the Just the touchdown separated these two teams today. Not much offense was generated on either side. Location for international football, Cologne, Germany. It should be an exciting game featuring two teams from the AFC North as Cologne squares off against the visiting team. Coming through, baby. Launches it deep to the left. He's there for the catch. Foley comes up to make the play at the 39 yard line. They get first down yardage with the throw. The 10, 5, touchdown, fire. When you get this kind of execution, you got a great chance of making a big play. Watch it here as everyone takes care of their assignment. The pass is thrown where the receiver can make the best play in the ball. With the pass play on third and short, steps up into the pocket, and it's intercepted. Beautiful interception by number 54. Looking for the goal line. Now, this is exactly how to get the And if you're on third and short, under pressure. They gotta find a way to come out on a 4-3. This one is handed off. Setting up play action. Rolling right. Throws on the move. And he makes the grab. The 20 can't bring him down. Number 37 is there for the tackle at the one-yard line. Looking for Rome. They brought an all-out blitz, John, and took him down for the loss. They get pressure on him. Come out in a 4-3. Rolls out to his left. To the end zone. Jumps up and comes down with it. Touchdown. Fire. This is a good play by the offense in the red zone. The wide receiver is going to break away right here and come up with a catch. This one is taken by Galloway. Pulls him. He loses it. The fire. Scoop it up. All the way. He's in for the touchdown. Perfect place at the right time on that play. Bumble recovery and a touchdown. Pass play here on first down. Fires this one deep. Incomplete. And they were each jockeying for position while that one was in the air. Let's go. First that penalty. Looking for the goal line. Touchdown, Cologne. And he powers his way in there. He follows that push and he gets the score. The shotgun. No pass on first down. With the throw. He goes up and grabs it. Jennings. He give it to the halfback. Fakes the handle. Rowing. Someone gets a hand up and it drops to the ground. It's good. So after the field goal, the score is 31 7. Fire. No pass on first down. Stepping up. Fires this one deep. What a catch. Hey, comes up to make the play. At the 22. He's going for it all. He's there for the catch. Touchdown, Central. Hey, put this one in the air, trying to convert with the throw. He hits his receiver. The 30. The 20. The 10. Five. Great throw, and then a fabulous... 
Pressure. Looks to the end zone. Right on the line. Touchdown, Centurion. That's the end of the second quarter with the score. The fire ahead of touchdown, Centurion. 38-21. Fire come out on a nickel back. Rosen, short swing pass to the running back. Out is there on the stop at the 12-yard line. Hold on a second. Gets the pass off. It's a slow back in the open field. Touchdown, Centurion. Dropping back the pass on first down. Gets rid of it. Jumps and makes the catch. Number 37. Centurion. With the pass play on third and short, throwing short, the back breaking free. Touchdown! Watch this play. He's able to find a hole in the defense and he gets into the end zone. And that's an example of how to use your personnel in the red zone. He'll pass on first down. Pressure fires this one deep. He made the catch. Touchdown! Touchdown. Not finished yet. And the long pass goes for six on a probable blown coverage. Yeah, it looks like that's exactly what happened. A cover two defense, which is what they were in there. The, the drive is good. Is good. Going no in the air on first down. Gets rid of it. Jumps and hits the catch. They'll spot this one at the 13. So he adds another touch. Drops back. Rolling out to his left. Pressure. Brings it down, looking to run. Loose ball. Receives the handoff. Great effort that time, John. He's clearly one of the... Puts everything behind this one. Incomplete as the defender knocks it away. Two offenses doing good jobs today, but in this one, one proved to be two touchdowns better. Football is played all over the world, including here in Barcelona. Welcome to this battle between division rivals from the AFC North. The home team squares off against Berlin. Rosen turns, he has it. The 20, and he's ridden out at the 16. On the carry, spins away from the center, and they're in. Touchdown. You're going to see what happened here. This is a bruising run. This one is handled by Willis. Runs through the tackle. Big opening. And he high steps his way to the end zone. He returns this one all the way for the score. And what you're going to see here is a... Throwing. To make the play at the They'll bring the blitz. Throws it. And the catch is made. Hansen makes the tackle. The defense team line up at a 4 3. Setting up play action. Pressure. Great job getting in there to drag the quarterback down. He picks up the six. Six. The upright is good. He's one of those guys. To carry it. Great fake. Closing in. The line had some problems with their assignments. Out of the shotgun. He's driving back to pass on first down. Fires this one deep. He's got Campbell. Is there for the tackle. On the ground. Great fake. Fires this one deep. Five. Diaz comes up to make the play. With the counter play. Touchdown. This is one of those plays where you let the big guys up front just plow a path right into the end zone for you. Throws it. He hits his receiver. This one will be spotted at the 41. And that's... It's the pass. 
pass off. Hits the receiver on the screen. The 10. Dives. Touchdown. He gets a great block right here. And we do on third and short. With the pass. And he makes the grab. And he goes out. At the 43. They convert for the first down on that throw. Throwing. Picked off. It's intercepted. Number one throws that one right to the defense, John. Drops back. Throwing on the run. Brought by the receiver on the screen. Copeland is the guy who's there to bring him down. At a 48 yard. He'll keep it. And he goes out at the 29. Here's what happens. You get a guy dropping back. Seven in the second half. Setting up play action. Pressure coming. They brought the house on that play, John, getting in there to bring him down. Oh, you bring that many guys. Back. Rolls left. Stepping up. Breaking through. He loses it. The Thunder scoop it up. Stiff off the defender to the ground. Those are things you hate as a coach. I tell you guys. Next place, we'll find out what the story is. Dropping on the on the first down. Surveying the field. With the throw, he hits his receiver. Number 45 records the stop at the 34 yard line. Pass play here on first down. Under pressure. He's going to run it. Number 36 is there for the tackle at the 13 yard line. One. He's getting up very slowly. It looks like he'll head toward the sideline and we'll get you an injury report as quickly as possible. Gets rid of it. And the catch is made. Touchdown, home team. This is a good play by the offense in the red zone. The wide receiver is going to break away right here and come up with a catch and a touchdown. The home team with a four-man front with a counterplay. Pearson with the tackle hold at on, the nine-yard line. It's a little misdirection. Touchdown, Thunder. He puts them on top here in the fourth by getting it in for six. The Thunder come out in a 4-3. Uses the pump with the pass. Records the tackle. And completion puts him over the two by using your speed and making the defenders miss tackle. Gets rid of it. The 10. Copeland with the tackle at the five yard line. Again, if the kicker misses, they'll regret not going for the touchdown. So it's a catch 22. Throws to the end zone for the late lead. Inches from a touchdown. The receiver just had too much room. It's third and goal at the four. Now it looks like he came down with it. The official will have to decide, though. And uh, John, what do you think? Was he in bounds? I think he was. But remember, to reverse it, the referee has to have clear visual evidence. The pass was caught in the end zone. Touchdown. So the referee agrees with the official upstairs, and this one has been overturned. The Thunder line up in a five receiver set this time. Pressure coming. Blair stops the clock there. Coming back to pass here, needing a big fourth down conversion. Going deep. He's got it. Good one. He's there on the stop. Berlin looking to run it here. Fakes the handoff. Gets the pass off. And he takes it in for the win. Great finish. Touchdowns in this one, but it came down to just a field goal for a three point win.
Welcome to this battle between division rivals from the AFC North. The home team squares off against Amsterdam. Dropping back. Stepping up with the throw. Jumps up and he has it. The 10, 5, touchdown, Admiral. I'll tell you, this is nice work by both the quarterback and the receiver in this play. Watch it here. He reads the coverage, looks for the best option, and then throws it to him. work by both the quarterback and the receiver in this play. Watch it here. He reads the coverage, looks for the best option, and then throws it to him. Dropping back. Gets the pass off. Hits the receiver on the screen. The 40. Graham comes up to make the play at the 34. Gets rid of it. Got it. Touchdown, home team. Just watch his patience and poise back there. Takes his time, looks over his options, and finds his receiver in the corner of the end zone for a touchdown. That's a heck of a play. The home team come out in a 4-3. The rush is on. Rowing. The defender's got it. Hodges. Takes it back to the 28-yard line. They'll bring the play. Throws it. This pass is incomplete. Martin comes up to knock that ball out of the receiver's hands before he was... He's going to run it. Touchdown. Look at this. I mean, the defense has to be looking for the quarterback to take off when it's just close to the end zone. And when he did, they just didn't swarm to the ball like they had to. Home team, come out of the nickel pack. Dropping back. It's rid of it. Israel is there on the sun. At the 20. Well protected. Fires this one deep. He has a touchdown. Admiral. Great individual effort got that touchdown. Great job by the quarterback. Heck of a job by the receiver, and a great job by the offensive line. Heck, that was just a great job by everybody. He gets the carry. Play action. Going deep. He's got it. Gilbert makes the stop at the 45. it off to the back and it's on the ground. The Admirals recover it. This is a great job breaking that up and getting the recovery. Yeah, they had a good push. With the pass, jumps and makes the catch. Van comes up to make the play. This is a good play for third and one. Farland in the backfield. With the throw, he hits his receiver. Touchdown, Admiral. This is an option route. The receiver's route depends on the defense he sees. But the quarterback has to see the same thing to make it work. It's a blitz. Looking comfortable in the pocket. Rolls left with the throw. Jumps up and it's loose. The Admirals grab the live ball. And the counter play. Number 20 pulls him down at the nine yard line. Move the chains again down so far, and that's a big reason why they're ahead at the moment. Stepping up, throwing, makes the catch. Touchdown, Admiral. The rookie tight end makes a fabulous play. You know, he's got some raw talent when it comes to. Pressure. He 
play man to man. Hand it off. Takes the handle. Closing in. The home team call a timeout. The try goal is good. Is good. The field goal puts them ahead by 17 points. They'll bring the blitz. He's going for it all. Right on the money. Touchdown. Touchdown. And this one isn't quite over. So he launches it over everyone for the touchdown. Onside kick. Amsterdam recovers the onside kick. Amsterdam. That's the end of the game. The final score is the Amsterdam Eagles. So another incredible week of NFL Europe football for week 11. There's some good games here, but the Amsterdam Admirals are squarely in first place after a deadlock with the Centurions. After them having a half game advantage, now the Admirals have the game lead here at 9-1. and one. The Cologne Centurions, after a big surprising loss against the Rhine Fire at home, 35-48, they tried to come back. But it was just too late. They messed up too many times in the first half. And they go 8-2. and two. They're still squarely in that second place spot. And they're only two games ahead of now the Thunder. Who got a big victory against the Barcelona Dragons. And once again, the Cardiac Kids here, man. Two back-to-back -back comebacks, man. To get a 6-4 and four bid here. And they are on a little winning streak here. Fire got a big win against the Cologne Centurions, that team that was in first place now, bumping them down to second, and now they have a little one game, uh, half game advantage over the Claymores and Monarchs as well at five and four. The Claymores, after uh, a big win against the Hamburg Sea Devils in a very tight defensive bout, they go five and five as well, they need that bounce back victory. And the London Monarchs, who lost against the Amsterdam Admirals, uh, in a game where they needed to win so they can get that fourth place spot or even a third place spot um they go five and five and they end up losing and the frankfurt galaxy had a bye week barcelona dragons another disappointing loss they just couldn't finish the game and they go two and eight and the hamburg sea devils just one foot out the door here they still have a sliver of a chance to make it to the playoffs here but they got to win out here with the next six weeks and they take a brutal loss to the um, to the Scottish Claymores. So they're one and nine. They're gonna have to make some uh, quick victories here uh, to stay afloat here in this season. So our offensive player of the week is Sam Hastings. He had five receptions, 163 yards, with two touchdowns. He just took advantage of everything that the defense gave him, and he just scored off and got some big plays. That got them the big victory. Now, there was a lot of mistakes on Cologne's part, but Sam Hastings once again took advantage of it, and he's our offensive player of the week with two touchdowns, five receptions, 163 yards. What a game by him, and a big win for the Ryan Fight. Our defensive players of the week are Joey Williams and Ricky Epps. Both of them holding it down, man, with two interceptions on the season, and their second interceptions going on that game against the Sea Devils up at Hamburg both of these guys really held it down and it could have been a potential of 24 points on the board for the Sea Devils and they held them down to only 10 so the defense as a collective really held it down for this team as their offense couldn't really get too much going in that game it was a very it was very much a defensive struggle but these two Intercepted it in the end zone, especially Ricky Epps at the end of the game that could have tied the game. He intercepted it in the end zone, got the touchback, got the W, and they held him down to 10 points. So an impressive victory for the Claymores there. For our next week, we have the Galaxy at the Fire coming out first. The Galaxy at a two-game losing streak. They can't lose any more games. They can't afford to lose any more games as they have to get a W here against the Fire who they lost to. I believe in like week three or week two, uh, 22 to 17. The fire this time are at home 
and they are looking hot no pun intended they're looking hot right now they got a win over the first place Colon centurions their offense is moving in motion they got the third most points per game and they're looking to rack up against this top ranked defense our second matchup is going to be a very very uh contested one as the centurions take on the thunder who are on a big winning streak here won three in a row uh, two of them have been some cardiac kid victories, but they are on it right now. They have one of the best offenses in the league, one of the best wide receiving cores in the league when they can catch, and so does the Centurions. The Centurions have the second most points per game, and they're looking to capitalize on another win here against the Thunder. Last time they played, the Centurions edged out the Thunder, and uh, this time, the Centurions Want it to go the same way. For our third matchup, the Sea Devils are going to go to Amsterdam to take on the Admirals. Last time they played, it was a 29 and 22 victory for the Admirals, and they started out going on their win streak. Right now, they're uh, they're on the three-game win streak once again, and right now they are looking like the top dogs of the league right now, first in, in most points per game. And right now, they have one of the best rush defenses in the league and one of the best rush offenses in the league with Hunter McFarland. Avery Henson is also coming into his own as a premier quarterback. And right now, they're just firing on all cylinders. The Sea Devils, on the other hand, they have a good running game, but they just can't harness the pass game with Billy Hendrickson and Jason Fife as their backup. Right now, they're looking for a win here to keep themselves alive at the playoffs, but... The Admirals trying to clinch a playoff spot here as they're going to be going into their 10th win and their fourth straight win of the season to try to edge out and basically try to get that solidify that first place spot as they want that home game for the Euro Bowl. Last game, the Claymores are going to Barcelona to take on the Dragons. The Dragons are having another home game and this time they have to win it. Um, they're basically on the outside looking in here definitely for that last spot they're gonna need a lot more work here two and eight is just not gonna cut it last time they played it was a 31 to 28 game and I believe it was a shootout game but once again the Claymores edged out a victory the Claymores right now they have Connor Grant he's one of the most effective and uh, efficient quarterbacks in the league right now with Seth Bynum with all these uh, weapons that he has with Hasty, he's just doing very well right now in this season. I believe he has second most in passing yards. And you can tell by their pass offense, they are super, super efficient. And even in total offense, they're third. You can see right behind them, their fourth in a total offense is the Dragons. And it's just the tail of the tape. They can score a lot, but they just can't finish because of their lackluster defense. As you can see, the ninth in total defense, and I believe that's just the last in the league. They're eighth in pass defense. They have no corners that can cover, and that's going to be the tail of the tape for Seth Bynum. He's just going to run rag. He's going to run this uh, corner team ragged, and it's just going to be a big, big, high-scoring affair, just like last time. The Claymores might be edging out this victory here to try to keep themselves in that playoff race. So that's it for week 11. Week 12 is going to be a, a lot of great matchups coming up as we edge out the uh, end of the season here. As we're going to the tail end of the regular season. And it's going to be a tight race for those final placements in those uh, third and fourth place spots in for the playoffs. So hopefully you continue the journey with us. And like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and have a great week.